welcome to e4m's content jam today we have some amazing panelists with us with very diverse backgrounds and creating content in different content genres but also with a very very strong similarity that is that all of these panelists have successfully built a profession out of their passion uh, we have atul khatri uh, i just got to know he's a fellow computer engineer uh, who decided to follow his passion in stand up comedy while he was already running his other businesses uh, at the age of 40 um we have dhwani bhanushali who i have first seen become india's singing sensation from just a young kid <laughs> trying to make his mark just few years back uh, when i met her um uh, we have larissa with us who is a very popular uh, travel and beauty blogger and favorite among a uh, lot of brands and we have uh, last but not the least nikhil also known as mumbai kid nikhil who is leading the vlogging space in india and has inspired so many people in india to take up vlogging as a career and um, nikhil also known for his love for bikes and traveling i think must be really waiting for the lockdown to end but as i can see you are already on the road so not he's already in the car so that's yeah. sorted and we have <laughs> one step into his and we have just been joined by the president of dombivali uh, <laughs> nick be you know like of dombivali yeah it's it's going to be very difficult to talk to him with a straight face i don't think uh, me and nikhil have ever spoken on a serious topic ever in our life but yeah let's let's how are you guys doing i mean uh, uh i know it's very all of you guys create content are used to create content in a very different background um but but just just each one of you can you just take us through the, your experience about creating content during uh, current times while being locked up at home uh, i know possibly nikhil is the only person who is still kind of staying safe and moving out and creating content but i'm sure rest of them are fully locked up at their home and 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 still uh, creating content how has this impacted um, your entire game and the pressures that you have um, because it's not that you can take a break and not upload content for for a month or two months you have to be regular with the content and that's the um that's the basic steps um of of being a content creator um uh, nikunj you want to start yeah sure i mean uh, i've realized that i'm making more content than ever and <laughs> and for me i think it's uh, kind of going back to basics like you know this is how I, this is how exactly i started i used to be a bartender before matlab i had no idea about how to create content i had no idea about you know any equipments or like anything in particular i used to do everything so everything that i do or i started doing on youtube was through learning it from youtube so this is exactly how i started and initially it was like a little tough because we were very used to you know the team around and going to office going to studios shooting uh, you know going to thane and shoot with brother tough <laughs> so stuff uh, you know initially it was uh, a bit difficult uh, but then you know since i started making videos i realized is i'm posting almost like a video every day mm-hmm. and uh, i'm having fun doing it i'm enjoying my time i'm you know i'm i'm in constant call with my, you know all the members of my team and I've been discussing stuff on you know what to do uh, one thing that i've noticed that is that i'm refurbishing my old content too because in this period of time what has happened is i've gained a lot of followers because uh, everybody is at home right now so for all these new followers what i'm doing is i'm posting my old content and then i'm posting new content too so there's a difference of like you know if i'm posting four videos a week i'm posting yeah. probably two for my old older content and two my new ones and i've realized my older content are doing more better than the ones that i'm making right now Yeah, because yeah, a lot of newer audience might not have consumed or seen possibly the old content, and for them it's as good as new. Exactly, exactly. And uh, been doing this for six years, so I don't think I'm gonna. I have like I have enough content to survive this lockdown. Yeah, yeah it's been fun. I'm enjoying the process. I'm learning new things. I'm uh, I'm having fun. That's one. Sure, Larissa. Uh, I know you also make a lot of travel vlogs, so that has completely stopped for you. you are on mute so you'll have to unmute uh, yourself yeah, yeah. but uh, sure. still making beauty videos sitting at home makeup makeup tutorials th- those would have still been easier um, but how are you popping up right, right now uh, creating content um i am actually um, trying to expand my genre now i definitely you know that i do a lot of travel and that's like my major genre but uh, i've always kept like a balance of other lifestyle things also so beauty and uh, fashion all those things were always there and also like a lot of art 
uh so what i'm i have no i haven't had the chance to do all of this while i was traveling although this is a part of me and this is how i started my youtube journey you know by doing diy projects and things like that so because i've been because i'm home now i have the opportunity to like do all of those again and people are loving it and uh, i think uh, right now you know everybody's picking on to different things and being diverse everybody's becoming a chef everybody's you know doing a workout and everybody's enjoying it i think the audience has also gotten very um sensitive towards content creators also like most of the audience and they are accepting different genres as well so um i think it's also very important that uh, since i've always built my brand as larissa disa not just you know travel you know just larissa disa like travel videos Uh, i think that has helped as well so whatever content i'm putting out the people are loving it and it has definitely because like nikunj said um because people are at home uh, they are watching a lot of stuff there's a lot of consumption of social media and followers are increasing like crazy so i think at during this time especially it's better if we create more and more content and it's possible because we're at home and uh, that will uh, i think it's it's a time to create a mark on the audience and to create a mark in the industry also so yeah. i think uh, we all should be utilizing it very well yeah yeah super uh, dhwani coming to you um, you know for uh, primarily people who are have been started their journey from digital platforms and i know that yeah. initially you also started um, creating content on your youtube channel and before you started making huge massive last scale music videos uh, <laughs> but i mean for you right it's it's not you can't technically right now go out and produce music videos and yeah. so you can still create songs sitting at home you can still mm. dub songs sitting at home but how are you seeing right now i mean is i mean obviously you have a pressure that um, you can't be putting out music videos every now and then right and how are you maintaining um, how are you just being active on the instagram and your other platforms like uh, larissa said i mean people are everyone's doing cooking pe- people are you know making uh, they're updating about uh, you know their own lives in general so that's what i'm doing on uh, social media i can't do youtube videos on uh, you know um, since i don't create uh, that much content i'm just you know a, a, a singer i'm a musician so for me yeah. doing a m- music video every week doesn't make sense yeah um yeah. so i try to so we did this one song called uh, jeetenge hum in uh the start of uh you know quarantine yeah uh, i recorded at home we shot it mm-hmm. at home um yeah. but you know music videos when you watch them you you want that uh, yeah. larger than life yeah. yeah. you want to want to see something you want to see a story yeah. and that's not possible to shoot at home so yeah. uh you know we try to but um, right now i'm just waiting it out and uh, you know trying to do those little uh cooking and your uh, uh in you know makeup videos and all of that stuff you know on, for my on your, audience on primarily on your instagram platform yeah i can see just on a personal level to engage engage with with the audience i can see the fancy youtube plates very well <laughs> i didn't realize this is the only place <laughs> in my room which has light you know <laughs> Uh, super uh, nikhil how are you i know again like i said possibly amongst everyone on the panel you are the only person uh, still on the road creating content um, uh-huh. thank you staying safe and yeah. and how how was how has done the current times for you been uh to very honest when i came back from london and the first lockdown was announced the 1.0 i was like chalo theek hai it's a 21 days break let me not do anything let me just relax work out lose weight transformation and all that but then i realized that as a youtuber and i produce so much of content i'm so much addicted to to shoot anything you know and just be in front of the camera so teen din baad maine bola nahi yaar let me just shoot something but uh, like others i live alone like there's nobody in my house okay so i was like abhi koi hai hi nahi so what can i do what can i possibly do so I, so i started talking about lockdown and then i went back to my old videos i was doing my old video ka review and then dheere 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 i noticed like for everyone else the subscribers were increasing and i realized that bhai bahut saare log ghar mein baithe hain this is the perfect time to do something new to for because as a vlogger the our job is to by to uh, to make a connection with the audience and this is the best time everybody is at home or and they and they are forced to listen to me mai kuch bhi bolunga wo log sunenge because they have nothing else to do yeah. this is what i did follow me na sorry कुछ भी बोलेगा सुनेगा टेल देम टू फॉलो मी 
तो ऐसा हुआ एंड देन लॉकडाउन आल्सो आल्सो आई थिंक बिकॉज़ दे आर लॉक्ड अप एंड दिस इज पॉसिबली वन ऑफ द ओनली वेज फॉर देम टू गेट एंटरटेन सी लॉट ऑफ कंटेंट राइट नाउ हां सुपर अतुल सर जस्ट आई थिंक बिफोर यू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन आई वांट यू टू tell me personally i want you to know that you have been running your own business and it's very very we don't see a lot of examples where people change their career path um at the age of 40 45 because people think oh, like um, when you're in 20s or 30s that's the right time to decide what you want to do but i just want you to first tell the story uh, from being a computer engineer to uh, running your own business and then said ki you know what i want to be stand up comedian leave everything apart Yeah, so actually, for people who don't know, I was a CEO of an IT company for close to like 25 years. So at the age of 44, uh, you could call it midlife crisis. So probably pressure from wife. I said uh, she said do something more. So I uh, so it was a New Year resolution, first Jan 2012. I said I want to do something different with my life. So I signed up for a comedy open mic night. I was the funny guy in my friend circle and all that. So I said you know people say you are very funny or very original. Now I need to try a hand at stand-up comedy. So, up to stand-up comedy, you know, I had just come in very new. This is eight years back, and uh, yeah, so I just went up for an open mic. I did very well there, and from there, you know, first time from you know twenty-five years working in lighting company, you know, coming on stage, meeting clients, and some of you are already stage performers, so you would know that uh, going on stage and you know entertaining ko nasha hi alag hota hai. So I got really addicted to it, and uh, for four years I did both my CEO giri as well as stand-up comedy. then in 2016 i gave it all and became a full time stand up comedian yeah so that is my small short journey from ceo to as a chief ceo from chief executive officer to chief entertainment officer ceo to ceo and uh, lockdown has actually been good for me so actually just like uh, nikhil even i was actually in toronto i, have, I had a full one month tour of 18 cities uh, in uh, canada and america starting from 13th march to 13th april So I reached there on 11th March in Toronto with you know, Mr. Donald Trump's assurance that it's just a flu which will go away in five days. So I came across. I reached there and then when in front of my eyes everything crashed. So I came back on 14th March. My entire tour was cancelled. All shows are cancelled. And uh, as I as I probably quickly realized that stand-up comedy, uh, I think as a genre, would be the last to start. You know, first they'll start Bollywood. They'll start other things. You know. because anyway the government doesn't li- like us because we talk very anti government and if it don't like us so we going to the last shuru karenge kuch bhi hoga these guys will go last maybe we will never see them so we had to go something at home so i started doing this thing called only positive news so what happened from 11 to 13th of march when i was at home uh, in toronto and watching entire world crashing you know closing yeah. down borders closing down i i consider myself to be a very strong person um, mentally but i was feeling anxious i was feeling worried the pain is the end of the world uh, so i started doing this so i came back on india on 14th march and from 15th march every day i said let me search for any positive news happening around yeah, so yeah. i started this series called only positive news and uh, i think yesterday was the 74th episode i do it so i do it every day 8 10 minute segment of i just search only positive news around the world and say it in my own stupid way and uh, i did that so actually because it gave me a lot of routine to the day because uh, me being an old man from a next thing you know i can't be sitting at home lot like lot of the young content creators you know jo raat ko 4 baje 5 baje tak binge karte hain fir subah ko dopahar ko 2 baje uthte hain and then you know, the day is like a different so i i am an old man i like to get up at 8 o'clock and read my newspaper and do my work so that gave me actually some kind of uh, normal uh, you know got normalcy to my own routine so i have been uh, I mean, I also did a lot of other small things. So I was because if we ask as comedians, we are never too much on social media. We only use it, uh, yeah. you know, to connect with your fans and you know, honestly, to sell tickets. Uske wala, we don't create content for for Instagram like uh, you know, like how yeah. uh, uh, Nikunj does or how you know Nikhil does or most of you are you know into travel and other blogging. So for me, it was uh, difficult, but I quickly learned it. I within two days, I learned an editing software, and I started editing my own software and. Uh, I think all that, is, but I've been very, very happy and lucky, uh, thanks to these. Since uh, the, the topics, I got some few brand deals also on my only positive news. And uh, yeah, I think I'm quite. Uh, in fact, I'm worried that the lockdown will end. People will go out and sit at home, so we won't see our content in the house. I felt the same. <laughs> but do you feel? But do you personally feel the pressure? Like when you said, because you were a stand-up comedian, right? And and um, the entire motive is to go and the kick is to do live gigs. Yeah, and, but do you feel the pressure of 
um, getting numbers on Instagram or all your other platforms because for that you will have to create content. You will have to create regular content. And yeah, yeah. So I think you have to create regular content. So not yeah. really. There's not a pressure. See, uh, I think all creators are generally like a thing that if you go out searching for followers, to not be If you do mm. something which is close to your heart, which you really enjoy doing it, uh, yeah. because uh, other the the followers can easily know whether you're faking it or you're really true to your heart. So yeah. I think uh, I have also added quite. I've added close to twenty five thousand followers just in the lockdown, uh, and very quickly and. Uh, and that was because my only positive news i came from the heart it is in my own style and also other than that uh, quickly we have started learning to do zoom calls so i have like every friday i have a 10 pm uh, uh, like a comedy show we're getting in 100 people selling tickets so that's how we are making money because as i said uh, we uh, comedians will have to get used to this format of doing comedy uh, uh, over here because uh, we're going to start last maybe i don't know whenever the i think only when a vaccine really comes out will people really yeah. be you know We need to sit in a crowded room and watch us. Yeah, yeah. That that was my question for a later stage about the live gigs, but we can pick sure, it up sure, right sure. now. Do you do you? Um, I mean, especially I think with Bunny and you and um, who are uh, very active into doing college gigs uh, or corporate gigs, uh, going to them. I know the rest of Nikhil, Nikunj, and Larissa also. They also engage in a lot of college events, but um, but those are not primarily. um their revenue drivers right um the, their revenues primarily right now as of now uh, does not uh, i mean uh, they don't go and sell their meet and greet passes or they most of them don't go and bill for the corporate uh, uh, sorry the college gigs but for you and dhwani right live uh, is a big part uh, of yeah. your live is a big part of your revenues and with the uncertainty which is there right now you never you don't know when the live gigs are going to start do you think the home gigs uh, um Uh, like uh, atul you said you have been doing home gigs right now are you selling tickets do you think people are coming and buying tickets and that's a habit which we might see in the post corona uh, days also this is this will be a learning for all of us right i mean um, because larissa also does uh, on ground makeup workshop workshops and possibly she can evaluate now if she can move that business completely online and do online workshops online master classes nikun jan sure will come up with um a yeah, few ideas and he's right now really active in diversifying his revenues into different other businesses also he is he's, he's a business running in new york already um and uh yeah so you you just want to take us through with your experience doing these live gigs as of now yeah so you know honestly doing live gigs on zoom was a challenge because uh, you know unlike a singer like a dhani a, a musician you know where you can sing uh, you know we as an as a comedian i require i want to see the i want to hear the laughter i want to see people laugh I, it cannot be, you know. I need the mics to be on. I need the videos to be on. And what happens when you have a lot of videos and mics on? Then you know somebody's blender is going behind. Somebody is having food. Somebody is talking to his child. Or child is coming, interrupting. So those are the challenges initially uh, of trying to, you know, the technology part of getting used to technology. For us, honestly, uh, now it felt like we are going back to our open mic days, you know, where you are actually trying something new. So, uh, so that was one challenge. But now we have figured it out. I like I've been getting. i've like entertained i think close to like 1000 people already on zoom right now and i'm enjoying it more the fact that uh, so we keep 25 30 videos on mics on let's tell people that you you know mute it if you're sitting in a noisy area so yeah. you know setting the expect uh, telling you know educating the uh, audience right in the big thing that this is hey this is how it's going to work you know but i think no uh, as dhwani will also you know probably agree nothing like a live performance i'm Not sure we are all waiting to go back on stage <laughs> you know <laughs> that's a different but you can at least thing. like you can engage uh, you know we just have to do live like you can at least see the amount of people that that are there uh, you know yeah, like yeah, 1000 yeah. people or 100 people yeah uh, i just have to go live and i don't even know like how many know, people are watching you yeah. how many people are watching and what's happening so yeah. that that gets a little bit weird and uh, it there's it, there's no revenue out of it i mean just like uh, uh, brands have started to get in touch and stuff but there's no real atul is uh, making money out of it i'm yeah <laughs> there's no real no 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 i'm sure he is doing a ticketed thing yeah yeah, I'm yeah. Not. like but, no but not have you done any uh, have you done any online events right now in the in the past few months like i mean since the lockdown started you asking me No, Dhani, 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 sorry, yeah. Huh. Sorry. So I did a lot of uh, lives with uh, you know different portals and stuff, and for my own thing, and I did with Vodafone and Wink and stuff. So some of like uh, you know uh, most of them are free, so you yeah, can't yeah. Uh, you know there's there's no revenue sure, uh, sure. out of it. 
so that 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 gets a little difficult uh, you know uh, in do you do you think do you think right now that's a future which which can hold in terms of uh, live events concerts for musicians um i i i know obviously everyone loves going to a ground and interacting with the audience but do you think that's an habit which people can develop over a period of time that they can just sit at home buy tickets to watch concerts do you do you see that as a trend uh i feel like the experience will be totally different and i do not encourage something like that but given the circumstances i mean that's uh, something you know that will have to be inculcated uh and you know you can't because we are in corona right now you can't have public gatherings so might as yeah. well you know have a setup like that yeah. um yeah. it should start yeah. because yeah. Um, then revenue for musicians and you know people gets really difficult yeah. uh, to generate because we rely on shows yeah yeah and I, yeah and i think as a consumer also while you are going to see um, the performer while you are going to see the content but it's the experience also which yeah that that's more think, important you know yeah yeah, yeah. um Uh, Nikhil, do you uh, have you seen? I'm, 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 I don't want you to mention just about your own brand deals, but as an industry, have you seen a slowdown or have you seen an uptick in the brand deals in during the last two three months? Because suddenly I have started getting a lot of calls from brands and agencies because practically the only people who can still create ads, who can still create branded content, sitting at home. are digital influencers because they are so used to they all already have their lights they already have a camera each one of you already know how to edit the videos which they are struggling while dealing with bollywood stars also because uh, they don't i mean they uh, yeah without without making it any controversial but yeah so nikhil have you seen any uh, uptake in the brand deals or you or, or have you seen a slowdown just in the just like rest of the industry uh for the lockdown 1.0 there was a slowdown uh but then i think after lockdown 2.0 you know uh, work has been great uh, we can see new kind of works coming you no know, not the pehle you know most of the work were like uh, uh you know about stuff now it's different now it's mostly digital so you can say 20% dip but not much because we create so much of content so kahin na kahin se kuch na kuch kaam aata rehta so that's not an issue uh, but yeah we we are seeing a change we are seeing a different change Sure. which is good or bad that i can't say <laughs> so if, 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 if i sound selfish if i sound selfish then i would say that digital media like for youtubers and for instagramers it's it's a it's a great news because you know we can create content selfishly sitting at home sitting in the yeah. car yeah. anywhere and uh, for bloggers especially you know we can the, the whole story whole script revolves around my day only so i just have to make my day little more little bit interesting and everything can fit in <laughs> <laughs> no yeah niku uh, uh, nikunj um how are the brand deals popping up for you in the last or overall revenues um in 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 last i think month. the amount of work has increased like you know revenue wise also uh but uh, you know the amount that we used to get generally for a video for say like a video has okay. dipped down a bit but the number of work has increased that's that's what has happened for me at least uh yeah. you know thankfully we've got like a lot of work and there's, there's a lot of work uh, piled up and uh, i've seen a lot of uh, new new brands trying this like you know initially there were only a set of brands which used to do digital marketing uh, uh in the recent past i've worked with a lot of new brands and they have enjoyed this and uh, you know i guess they've seen the change of uh, uh, you know trying digital media and getting that probably you know getting that reach right in front of it like for instance i recently promoted an app which kind of uh, you know after my video coming out the the app was trending number 1 on iOS for like a week so they they kind of love doing it and the, there are a lot of new coming brands which are coming right now which is which is best rather than the old you know i guess initially the brands which used to come which used, are the only ones which used to come to all the influencers then not yeah. you know specifically for you and yeah. i kind of see this increasing because i think uh they should by now get to know that you know shahrukh khan is from promoting santro i'm sure everybody knows he's not driving santro <laughs> and someone like me or nikhil not nikhil i'm sure everybody knows he's not driving santro <laughs> <laughs> nikhil nikhil you're on mute <laughs> so what i i'm i'm, I'm, I'm driving a hyundai car bmw better hyundai 
yunda yun mai ne i think i think also what has happened is uh, a lot of brands jinke liye digital uh, marketing was a, just an option or they were exploring it has now become a mandatory thing because this is the only spends they can do right now they can't do there's no use for them to go and spend i mean i still remember the time probably like you know I, I, as you know i started like 6 years ago yeah. Yeah. But youtube used to send us on this thing called uh, speed dating to the to the brand and we used to yeah. like sit with the brand and tell them what digital marketing is so we've come a long way from then yeah yeah larissa what how how is it for you um, in terms of revenue uh, over the last three months compared to how it was earlier it's definitely not the same as before and uh, brands are very particular uh, to who they are working with so um, because i think their budgets have all gone down and uh, like he said it's i mean everybody's like abhi budget nahi hai budget kam ho gaya hai so we have to like settle for a lower cost but uh, what i have seen like the kind of change i have seen is that brands are working with lesser creators now and uh, they being very picky and very choosy when it comes to doing their work uh, they're also doing like ads uh, through creators you know so like i recently did an ad for uh, a sanitary uh, brand and uh, like the whole production was supposed to be done by me and it was like a proper ad that they wanted for their stuff so you know um, i think i don't know how how i should put it but uh they i think brands know who they have to work with at this time to get the proper output like proper return on investment mm-hmm. so um i don't know about the others but um, it, it's all right 20% dip like nikhil said but um yeah work has increased definitely because right now like i said you know we have to make a mark, make a mark to hamara hamara unbranded stuff zyada ho gaya uh mm-hmm. but revenue wise to um, it's all right nothing like bad but uh, nothing great either yeah, i think i think thankfully all of you guys are in in that field uh, every field is every industry is affected but possibly this is the field which is least um, affected in terms of my online brand is right? and we have, i think we are all of us are very lucky uh, so it has not impacted in terms of revenues uh, nikun uh, nikhil uh larissa like have you guys have seen i'm not talking about the youtube uh, adsense revenue that as a community <laughs> importing that question so we are keeping this questions limited to the um, brand deals because we all know how that has affected a little more than 20% dhwani so, is uh, clearly promoting youtube right now now i can see both the youtube no <laughs> i can see the i can see the gold uh, play as well as the silver play button it's a better frame now Great. yeah that's that you see You only have to wear a YouTube no, T-shirt now. That's it. Just the T-shirt, you're done. Right? Yeah. Dhoni, Dhoni is saying. I'll do that the next time we have a chat. Dhoni is saying, no. I make I make big music videos. I don't create a lot of. No. Content. I don't make a lot of YouTube videos. We're the only place in my room that gets light, and this doesn't have battery anymore. I'm fully stuck. This is the first time I'm meeting Dhoni, but you know, a year ago, someone made a meme on me where yeah. they, you know, took off my beard. And placed Dhoni in front of me. I remember. Yeah, it's so. Oh, it was so hilarious, and you know, I was true to it. It's not like you know, someone just made it, but I felt like, oh yeah. I'm like, shit, we look alike. <laughs> That's why I'm not. I'll never shave now. Like, That's the reason I'll never shave. <laughs> so, uh, Dhoni, do you uh, are you actively doing brand deals right now? Um, I know there have been brand integrations in your music videos earlier. Yeah. I have brand deals. Hmm. Uh, I know you can't. um do those deals right now because you're not producing full fledged music videos yes. right in the time at least mm-hmm. starts um but are you engaging with brands on instagram are you engaging with yeah, so yeah. i'm open to that and it's happening also but i'm not uh, i'm not doing uh, like i did vodafone uh, you know recently yeah, yeah. but since i don't do like a regular video Yeah, you yeah, know, in terms yeah. of of YouTube and stuff, I'm not like a full fledged influencer. I'm a singer, yeah. um, so uh, that is not as much as these guys do. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm, I mean, I'm I'm open to this, and and it's happening, like on Instagram and uh, you know uh, those small deals. They have how, how many followers do you have on Instagram right now? Two two point seven million. Two point seven, and on YouTube, one point four nine million something. 
Yeah, Dhoni just saying I'm not a active. No, <laughs> dude, you <laughs> asked me. Two point seven million and <laughs> one point seven million, million and two plates from YouTube at the back. No, I I'm going to remove the only now. Fuck <laughs> it. But I'm glad that you put up that mic uh, for the finale uh, unpaid gig performance that you're going. That to is do. not going to happen. Now he will chalu. I need more time. Like, oh, no. I realize two point seven million is more than anybody in this Zoom call right now. On on Instagram, mm. yeah, yeah. D- thanks, man. <laughs> I don't know. What to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, sir, for you, I mean, uh, has brand deals been? You have been doing actively brand deals. Uh, I know you do a lot of branded corporate shows, but beyond on ground performances, uh, have you been doing brand deals in the past? And and if yes, how are the last three months been? How has your experience been dealing with brand? So for me, uh, primarily, I'm a live artist. So I, obviously, the most of my revenues earlier used to come from uh, brand like corporate shows, and also the public uh, shows and the tours which we used to do. And the brand was a very small component of it. You, you know, the branded, uh, uh, I would say, social media deals used to be very small. But now, uh, since COVID, obviously, that percentage has become slightly more. Uh, uh, and uh, obviously, my live work has come down. But uh, you know, coming to what everybody say, I can see that. when i speak to my team who handles my brand work they say that first of all obviously a lot of brands have pulled out because of the uncertainty about not knowing uh, how their own internal their markets is number one number two the approval processes have become longer so mm. earlier if it used to be the agency and probably the marketing head who would decide now it's going right to the way to the ceo who saying i want to see every penny we are spending you know in this pandemic you know And yeah, this uh, is happening. Like the return of like you know, uh, to get back to you, it takes takes too yeah, much. Taking a lot of time, yeah. and I also see like for example, like uh, one of the biggest spenders I think is because of you know surrogate uh, uh, marketing used to be alcohol companies. Uh, yeah. They have actually uh, pulled out. You know, at least most of them have pulled out because for three months their shops were closed and things yeah. like that. Now hopefully now with the alcohol opening up, and uh, uh, you know maybe the festive season coming. Hopefully, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, we should yeah. maybe see those no, sure. those I'm markets coming up because yeah, yeah yeah because you know, but, but I think a lot of other industries um, like possibly uh, Nikhil would also know about this like people are not going out at least during the lockdown times to go and buy our bikes or go and going and buying out cars um, so mm-hmm. I think in addition to alcohol possibly all other industries which are not into essential uh, items have obviously seen a. Drop in their revenues, yeah. and obviously it doesn't make sense for them to go and start spending out uh, uh, monies. Um, okay, uh, my another question which I wanted to ask is now during these times, right? They were there is so much of a social responsibility uh, on each one of you to engage into right meaningful conversations with the fans, with the with the people you have, uh, and and obviously there's a pressure about that also. There are causes that you want to speak about. um but you see so many things which are not being done in a right way throughout the world and you want to participate in those in those times but um uh, every individual can't be talking about 20 topics 30 topics right even if you choose a topic to support um you will also get a backlash that why you not talking or talking about topic b or topic c um but at the same time you can't just ignore it right you have that responsibility uh on you to Pass on the right messaging, especially during how to stay safe during these times. How are you inculcating that into your content right now? Is that your top priority? Are you thinking uh, what is the kind of communication you want to give to the fans throughout your content? Any, I mean, can start. Nikhil, how are you? How are you um, taking care of this? I don't know, man. This is probably like the most difficult thing to do actually for me, because uh, you know, all my life I've done whatever I felt like doing. without saying it saying saying it out loud because that's what i feel i feel that we are doing charity you should not talk about it and yeah. i've done that people who know me knows me that you know how much i've done yeah. but now the problem is if you don't say anything that means that you're not standing against it you know yeah. there are countless things that i'm doing right now too but you know i always feel that you should not talk about it uh for instance you know something that backfired to me was like i you know that i, I go to la a lot and i collaborate with the creators out there and whatever is happening there And I kind of shared something from there, and people like, "Oh, what did you do? Like, you know, you, you're not standing up for for the people, so you know who are you and stuff like that." So I'm honestly learning on how to deal with it, and uh, you know, sometimes I feel that even though even though you're not doing anything, you're doing a lot. Like, you know, making people laugh at this time is also a good thing to do. 
since like you know yeah. like Atul Gadri sir said that he is sharing positive news which is amazing you know yeah. i'm going to start seeing it right now i'm not seeing it yet but that's exactly that i want to see right now because no matter what you do no, no matter what you see no matter who you talk to right now is talking about tarik suna gaya isko ho gaya usko ho gaya are suna gaya ye ho gaya and it's so negative <laughs> like the best, best way to deal with is to see good positive you know is to meet positive people is to talk you know i i remember calling nikhil a lot of times we just discuss content and not like you know whatever is happening right now so i want to be around with people who are very positive i want to share positivity i want to make people laugh and that's i feel that i'm i'm doing my job and yeah. i don't want to be told by anyone saying that you know you're not doing this for that this for that whatever like you know i've done lots of people who know me knows me i do a lot more than anybody who shows out yeah. so i'm very content with that like i'm just coping up on how to deal with people who think that i'm not doing so i'm like for now it's okay for me yeah, yeah. no no i i'm sure i'm i i'm that's very insightful i mean when we also deal with work with influencers and it's 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 very tricky right i mean you uh, that you there are worldwide there are so many things which which are not right but you can only choose the causes that you want to talk about or like you said support them by not even being vocal on social media and then just do that and i know a few of the things that you have done in the past nikhil but i mean you create almost every day vlogs right how uh, do you do you do you have that pressure on your mind when you're creating content or you are just really just staying honest with yourself and whatever you want to do you just do it uh see most of the time i create whatever i want to create but uh, there there used to be a pressure but then uh, over the time i've i've stopped caring about like ki kya pressure kuch bhi nahi hai no it's like uh, during the lockdown the the thing which i wanted to talk to my audience was about the the labors yeah. uh, the pain they were going through but then i realized ki when i when i uh, 40% of my video was about the labors and then 2% was about uh, youtube versus tiktok and then the whole conversation was about youtube versus tiktok as like is is desh ka kuch nahi ho sakta <laughs> let me just not uh, talk about anything let me just do it so what i did i just went to dmart and i i made this uh, kit uh, yeah. if you want to distribute as like if you can't if you don't want to give money out you can give uh, rations out you know because uh, uh, during this lockdown what we have seen is that bahut sare jo log the salaried people they're not getting the salary and you know they have this thing that they will not ask money from anyone yeah so i had this team they were looking for those such people So we made this kit, and per kit cost around five hundred rupees. So I made this whole video that if you don't want to give money to anybody because if you think that you will get a bonus or something else, get this kit. Pita is not there. Huh? So Pita is not there. I am doing my own thing. I am doing my own thing. I am doing my own thing. So you know, you can get this kit and you can give it to whomever you think uh, needs it. So yeah, this kind of content I created. I am not saying anything. 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 Whether yeah. you care, whether you don't care, उनको मतलब ही नहीं उनको बस ये तुम बोलो कुछ भी टॉपिक कह रहे बोलो बस बोलो एंड उनके फेवर में बोलो सो यूजली आई ट्राई टू स्टे अवे फ्रॉम रिलीजियस पोलिटिकल मैटर सो वो होता तो मैं आई डोंट इवन से Like I'll tell you when this uh, uh, the cyclone Amphan happened, and I wrote about West Bengal, and next day I started getting hate from Orissa. Yes, sir, Orissa may be who are, you know. Then some guy said, uh, Assam from <laughs> Valley, the government is taking over to make some power pipeline. आपने इसके लिए क्यों नहीं बता रहे? मेरे यार मुझे नहीं पता है. तो जब पता होगा तो बताऊँगा, you know. So just mm-hmm. chill, guys. Even we are human beings. Even we are going. We have also families, you know. Yeah. And uh, when I'm selling tickets, why are you not donating to charity? Because I have to feed my family. That's why I'm selling tickets. You know. Yeah. I mean. i can't be feeding migrants when i don't feed my own children so you know the people should realize we also have families we have we have lives we are going we also are human beings going through yeah. emotions and uh, we will talk about it as uh, when we want to talk about it you know when we we are very passionate about it we'll talk about it when or, or honestly aajkal itni fake news bhi ho rahi hai that you be i actually talk about a news only after the third day after i read facts and figures that actually something has happened you know like uh, uh, like Like when this uh, uh, that unfortunate incident of that Kerala elephant happened, you know, within two days it went from an animal to a communal issue. You know, so our, our, and also one more thing which is a fact, and I'm uh, this is a discuss a lot of the comedians, even the crowds. I think because of the uh, even the audience because of the corona have become more sensitive. You know, uh, there's more hate mail coming. There are more trolls coming because they have more free time. You know, सबको फोर्जी तो दे दिया है भगवान ने लेकिन इन्होंने दिमाग नहीं दिया है. You know. So, <laughs> 
Those are attacking and things like that. So actually, uh, some of us are you know dealing with those issues about how trolling as overall has increased. You know, people are just oversensitive. You say it's a beautiful day in Bombay. Somebody will say, "Boss, it's 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 hot in uh, somewhere else. Why the hell are you so happy about a beautiful day?" <laughs> But uh, probably I'm old, so I just say my mind. So I don't listen to anybody. I'm with blinders. Jo bolna hai, bolo. Kuch ka bolo. And uh, and I generally don't worry about brands. I have to say what I want tomorrow. If my brand team says that they don't say something about TikTok versus so and so, YouTube will get upset to TikTok. I said no, boss. I'll say what I want. Yeah, blew yeah, yeah, brain so brain much. Yeah. Can you imagine? We have a bloody pandemic going on. Sorry to say, but the biggest issue in the last fifteen days was YouTube versus TikTok. TikTok. Exactly. I'm like, bro. And like I like I remember out of personal experience, like I put just this was really funny. I this did this TikTok on I mean TikTok, and then I put it up on Facebook, and people like, why are you cross posting? TikTok is supposed to go down. I'm, it's go block karo. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I mean, yeah, it's crazy. But Bhani, what do you feel uh, about the again? If you have spoken about this topic, right? And. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> not to not to uh, not to detail it out further but okay. not talking about particular platforms right uh-huh. every platforms have their own uh, audiences right every platform there are different kinds of content being made on every platform yeah do you do you think there can ever be a definition for about a good content or a bad content like people are saying that content is not uh, good enough nikul is nikul is very keen to i think answer this uh, question no so let him answer i'm just trying, i'm just trying to listen i just Yeah, this bad Nadu again, do me, you know. Yeah, but I'm just saying, as, as as content creators, all of you guys, do you do you think there's a there's a line where we, somebody can say this is a good content, this is a bad content, this should not be made? Or it's pretty this. much subjective. I mean, you can never say what is good content or bad content. Of course, there are like guidelines to what you can do, and yeah, 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 there's yeah. a limit to what you can do. But yeah. it can never be like some people might like some content, some people might not. So it's not, yeah. never like. मुझे पसंद नहीं आया तो आपको पसंद आएगा. Yeah, and vice versa. So yeah. I, I don't think there can be like something like yeah, unless something that really. I think. Uh, I think uh, India as a whole has a very big population. So uh, you know when people, there is an audience for literally everything, really? and uh, I think uh, that's the best part about it. So that is the reason why social media. We started doing things on social media because we were accepted as we were. So I think. Uh, that's been a plus point for all of us and uh, although i i personally feel that uh, you know uh, everybody is gotten onto the tiktok bandwagon suddenly because of the lockdown and everybody's interested i have also you know it does help to get an audience to your youtube and your instagram so i've been using it it's a very creative platform i totally agree and uh, it d- doesn't just have cringy stuff it has a lot of educational stuff yeah. and all a lot a lot of hacks a lot of a lot of cool things on tiktok but i somehow feel that uh, i mean if you're making a video on tiktok the same thing shouldn't go on instagram and the same thing shouldn't go on youtube i mean every platform has its own beauty and i think it should stay like that because tiktok is more of like quick things and that's the whole thing because we're scrolling continuously and uh, that makes more sense because you know there's no feed as such i mean there is a feed but tiktok is more about like just scrolling 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 going through a lot of stuff from everybody and uh, instagram is not about that instagram is more about community building and it's about uh, a particular person and the brand that person is built around him or her and uh, you know just posting something on tiktok and then coming and posting the same thing on instagram doesn't really make sense because instagram is not built for uh, the kind of stuff that's on tiktok i feel this and sure. uh, i've been following that sure sure uh, nikunj i mean uh, from your point of view i know and see again i don't want to make it this about youtube and tiktok this is not about that this is about different platforms right it can be instagram so it can be youtube versus instagram it can be youtube versus twitter right but i know that you create different content for different platforms uh, but is is that a focus area or 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 you or you are okay repurposing the content and just putting it out on different platforms but those are different audiences see i'll tell you what no matter how much you hate the platform which i do by the way honestly i don't like it uh, because it's there's a lot of cringe in it but i'm not saying i hate the platform but uh, i hate the cringe which is there in the platform so i love like tiktok which is do, doing in us like you know I, i was in la for a month and uh, you know all the all 
of the artists that I wanted to collaborate with, say, you know, all the biggest artists, all the comedians that I kind of grew up watching, say, Kim Bash, Adam and all, you know, I reached out to them and they were like, yeah, let's do something on TikTok. I was like, what? So you want to do a video with me on TikTok? And that, everybody is on TikTok right now. I was in Anaheim last year for Bitcoin. And yeah. the biggest topic on Bitcoin was TikTok. And uh, I heard like someone got paid a million dollar to post a 15 second video on TikTok. Think for it now. A million dollar, no matter who it is. Like, you know, even if he's like the biggest actor in the world, yeah, but yeah. getting paid a million dollar for a 15 second video is, damn, it's a lot. And uh, I've been doing a lot, you know, uh, when I was there, I did a lot of TikTok and I kind of gained a lot of audience from the West. So I'm trying to concentrate, you know, I'm making different content on Instagram, on YouTube and on TikTok. From TikTok, I'm concentrating on comedy from the West because I think it's, you know, it kind of gives me a kick because you have done a lot. I've been doing this for the past six years yeah. and I'm not saying it's not exciting, but I kind of miss the hustle. You know, I kind of miss posting a video and thinking about whether it will do well or no. Yeah. You know, just yeah. constantly watching it, you know, what, what if it doesn't do well? That, that feeling, that is the feeling that I've missed you. So I'm trying to consider it. Um, that's what I'm doing on TikTok. That, that's about it. Right? Sure. But do you, but do you create separate content on TikTok right now? Yeah, I do. Nikhil, what about you? Nikhil uh, is killing it me, on TikTok by the way. Uh, yeah, right. For me, I, <laughs> there is no love or hate for TikTok. Uh, I just don't like the way it works. I'm very happy with YouTube when I'm satisfied with Instagram. Uh -huh. Uh, and I don't have no problem with people creating uh, videos on TikTok. See, it's your personal personal choice. You, if you like TikTok, go 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 create videos over there. And if you don't like TikTok, don't create videos over there. Uh, and it's your uh, your ID. If you want to make videos over there, upload it on YouTube. You do whatever you want to do. You will find your people. We have एक सौ चालीस करोड़ का जनता है. उसमें कहीं ना कहीं tier one, tier two, tier three city है. जिसको जो देखना है वो देखेगा. At the end of the day, what matters is that how long you sustain. Because yeah. there's going to be a saturation point. TikTok's saturation point is very fast. YouTube's saturation point is not there because there is a lot of work involved. Okay, I'll give an example. For example, there is a gym. One, there's gym two. You go to gym one, you'll take a year to make a decent body. There is gym two. You'll take three days to make a decent body. But then you will have no value for that decent body. That is what I think. Which gym is it? I'll give an example. I'll give an example. Three days in the body. <laughs> TikTok is like that, make a good video, make a good video, make a good video, you will go viral. But then what, then what they do to make connections, you have to again come on Instagram, you have to again come on YouTube. So I think the TikTokers who are doing well, they eventually have to come on YouTube and Instagram. But the YouTubers who are doing well, they don't have to necessarily go on TikTok or Instagram. That's what I feel. My definition is like, you know, if you, for me, if you have to call yourself a creator, and if this joke somewhere, which is hilarious, is that, uh, what if, you know, what if suddenly Instagram is banned? Boom, you're not a model anymore. Uh, <laughs> so that, I mean, like, you should be a creator in every, that's what I feel, honestly. It's very subjective. I, I think, that, uh, I know I if, everything just, if everything shuts right now, I can still create a good story. I can be a writer, I can be an actor, I, I direct my own stuff. I act, I'm the spot by my own stuff. I can do some kind of work anywhere in the industry that I'm created in. That's what I think. That's, that's absolutely right. I totally agree with uh, Nikunj. I think we all started long, long ago when, you know, we all started our videos by recording them ourselves. So we've been like the production person. We've been directors. We've been writers. We've been, you know, like we've, we've been through, all, through it all. And I think the ones who are creative only are actually uh, surviving at this moment during this lockdown because... उनको पता है कि लॉकडाउन अभी अकेले है तो फिर भी हम बना सकते हैं कंटेंट दे हैव दैट कॉन्फिडेंस इन देमसेल्व्स सो आई थिंक इवन इफ इट इज एनी काइंड ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म और एनीथिंग इफ अ पर्सन इज इफ अ क्रिएटर इज क्रिएटिव इनफ नोस देयर स्टफ एंड स्पेशली सिंस यू नो वी हैव डन इट फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स वी नो व्हाट वर्क्स सो आई थिंक दैट्स द बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट जस्ट I forgot what the question was, but <laughs> you got. <laughs> I, I, I think, yeah, I think, I think, like Nikhil rightly said, it's just saying, staying honest to what you want to do. If you love a platform, just create content. If you don't like it, don't create content. That's it. I mean, there's an audience on every platform. Uh, Atul, do you, do you, do you also try to study all of these that which are the platform that I should be? Do you go into analytics? Do you, um, do you, do you go and observe all of these platforms that yes. I should be active everywhere? Do you feel that pressure? No, no, no. I, there's no pressure. Like I'm not on TikTok. Uh, with my kind of format, 
I think with my kind of age also, I don't know who will watch me on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Adul. Adul, sir, there you is a lot of people. Okay, yeah, you, you will be surprised. Okay. You will have a major audience. No, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, right now I'm not on TikTok. Uh, and I've seen, I've seen, I think Laris also made a point. Every platform has its own uh, audience, has its own thing. So, for example, I'll tell you, my only positive is a very big hit on Instagram and Facebook. Some on YouTube. People are not liking YouTube. My audience wants my stand-up videos. They want like an mm-hmm. eight-minute stand-up clip. They don't want to watch. They don't basically gyan ni chhun ko. You know. Mm-hmm. So that's the thing. So every audience, every platform, I think has its own nuances, and you have to play that platform accordingly. You know. It's great if your if your material can work across all the platform, then that's actually a very good thing. But uh, yeah, so I think uh, I think let's shift it from TikTok the conversation to Tinder, please. Sorry, joking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, so I think we I just got a message from them. We just have five minutes left. I didn't even oh, okay. know. Okay. And uh, oh, yeah. you know, uh, my con- uh, last question, which is a very cliche cliche question, but I still would ask um, because I know all of you guys, and I, I know how every one of each one of you have really hustled and worked really hard over the period of last few years and made a mark, right? And and and. completely on your own selves do you want to for all the aspiring creators um, even if they are 15 or if they are 40 right who want to get into this game do you have a um, do you want just convey a message to them that how has your journey been and what what is the things that they should be doing to just follow your road map and and probably come closer to uh, what 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 you can do like like for example for nikhil right i think personally what nikhil has done in the vlogging space uh years back uh, i'm sure nikunj will agree with me years back nobody was taking vlogging as a serious career in the space people were looking at a lot of people in the west who were big bloggers out there and they never looked up to a indian blogger so they never took it seriously that this can be considered as a full fledged career right but what he has done has inspired so many people um to now take vlogging as a as a career previously i think years back people just used to say it as a hobby or or not as a profession as such do you do you have a message all of you guys just a one two liners we have just four minutes left and and nikhil let's let's start with you for you, uh, see if anybody wants to start a career on this platform simple hai yeah do your research uh, ask yourself uh, ki aapko kya karna pasand hai and just just start you will fail har pehli cheez success nahi hogi like not many people know this was vlogging was not my first youtube channel my first youtube channel was something else to be yeah. drama life to ke liye maine baja ke rakha hai so you will fail and then you will succeed and then you will find the right spot for you so keep trying keep asking vani do you, do you have a message for all the well, i just fans? want to say i just want to say that you know i'm a singer and uh, uh, i started with youtube you guys helped me a lot uh, my first video i did this carpool mashup uh, and i came to you guys and you know then the journey started from there so you know i think you just need to believe in yourself Yeah. um uh, that that you know you can do a certain thing just have that confidence in you and yeah. um keep practicing keep getting better on a daily basis i think that's i just took it by the day yeah. um and maybe uh, uh, that will help you and uh, you know you will reach wherever you want to because everyone has their own path you know i yeah. can't tell you what 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 sure. worked uh, for me yeah uh, your story is going to be completely different no i know i mean i, I think with, obviously with the excess of resources and what you want to do with the passion area you can't sideline the hustle and the hard work because like dhwani i know in your case right in, in those times also when you were getting launching your first music videos but you you start your day at 7 8 in the morning and go through so many of yeah we go um, through whole you know you have to train you have to yeah. figure you know what yeah. you're good at yeah where your tone lies and what you can do with your voice and you know where you can stand and if you want to be a pop star or if you want to just be a play- playback singer and So you have to figure that all that all of that out. Super, Mister, be unique. I think the most important thing is to be unique. No, I'm just joking. So, uh, see, I feel uh, it's quite different for me. Uh, I had my ethics and my morals in the start when I started. When I, you know, when I thought about making this, I knew how to grow faster, but I didn't wanted to choose that path. I chose the long run because I wanted to be in this for a long run. Okay, be my mm-hmm. style is a little different. You know it. That you know I don't watch a lot of content. Yeah. Actually, I don't watch content at all because I feel there's only two things that can happen if you watch content. A is like you know if you don't like it and you see what the fuck is working. 
in this era like why are why are people watching this which is not going to help me and b is that if i like it a lot even if i don't want to my subconscious mind tries to imitate it like you know i used to watch a lot of kian peel mm. and i started making videos like it that's when i realized you know i should stop watching it and the most important thing is chalu kar matlab you to start there exactly. you know, if you, if i go back on time i realize that the first video that i made on be unique and not on not so funny was shot and like edited 3 months ago and i showed it to few people and they said that you know it was not good enough and then one day i got drunk and i posted it got 2000 views it has 3 million views right now but i realized i wasted those 3 months listening to people who don't know shit because nobody knows anything about any of the guys like you know you just have to post content start doing it don't do a lot of research and like you know i'm i'm sure like you know there's also a way to go about it but i feel is that you should like doing it have fun while doing it because when you have fun people see that you know people can see it from your face when that you know you are having fun doing it and you're not robotic and you know you're not just doing it to get the views you're not just like stressed about what will people like or people not not like and the one getaway is like you know a simple question khud ko pucho ke if this video comes on your feed irrespective of the fact that you are in it would you laugh i make funny videos that's what i'm saying to you would you have fun would you watch it would you laugh <laughs> just like you know if the answer is yes then make it and post it i'm sure you'll find your audience yeah Sure, Larissa. Um, I think uh, right now, if uh, someone has to become a creator, uh, like right now, who wants to start a career with content creation, um, they have to be actually out of the box and create something really unique because there are so many already. And to be out there and to make a mark, you need to be something very different and offer something different for the audience because. ब्यूटी क्रिएटर्स तो हजार है ब्लॉगर्स भी हजार है यू नो ट्रेवल करने वाले भी हजार है सो आई थिंक द ओनली वे टू डू दैट इज टू पुट योर ओन स्टाइल टू इट एंड मेनी पीपल फॉरगेट दैट एंड यू नो दे ट्राई टू कॉपी अदर्स दैट्स वॉट इवन आई डिड इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ माई यूट्यूब एंड नाउ देर जस्ट लाइक सुपर क्रिंजी व्यूअर वीडियोज बट आई रियलाइज वेन आई स्टार्टेड एडिंग माई ओन स्टाइल टू इट दैट्स वेन पीपल स्टार्ट लविंग इट मोर लाइक even in my vlogs and even in my videos there's a little bit of humor in it and uh, that is what people connected to more than you know just being the literal like like the typical girly girl i'm not like that so people actually started liking who i was after i started putting my own essence to it so yeah. i think adding your own masala and you know doing your own thing adding your style to it as cliched as it may sound is super important and uh, second would be uh, being super consistent obviously and uh, right now i think with this time uh, posting every single day is advisable super no i think absolutely true i mean you i mean if you are looking up to someone and start creating content in that space you can't fake it up for long right some day you will lose that essence and people will figure it out yeah nikun sorry yeah. yeah one more thing is collaborate a lot you know the best example is mostly same but the project ta they did the best collaborate with whoever is like you know has a similar vision with you but just collaborate a lot yeah 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 no absolutely yeah uh, that really works and mm-hmm. i also have to add to what uh, nikun said about uh, you know growing fast and how i think most of us know ki kya chal sakta hai and what will go viral we all know it but we don't want to do it because that's not our style so i think that is also very important ki अगर तुम वायरल जा रहे हो देन दैट वायरल वायरलिटी हैज टू स्टे देयर सो इफ दैट डजंट वर्क देन यू आर गॉन लाइक यू कम अप एंड लाइक यू नो जस्ट लाइक डिंजक पूजा शी वाज देयर एंड देन शी इज गॉन सो आई थिंक टू क्रिएट एन इंपैक्ट मोर देन बी बैक बट आई एम सेइंग या यू कांट बी नोन एज माइट बी बैक पूजा जिंदा है तो सर आई मीन व्हाट व्हाट इज योर मैसेज नॉट ओनली फॉर Young yeah. creators, but yeah, I'm not saying like you're old. But I'm just saying people in the 40, 50 year old segment also, who who still might be very passionate. Just but but probably just because of the society pressure, they would have figured out. You're talking thing. about yourself or what, Gurpreet? You're talking about yourself. <laughs> I'm I'm younger than Atul. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to. Yeah, I'm older than all of you guys. But anyway, <laughs> no, I would say that first of all, uh, you know, first of all, uh, follow your passion. Number one, number two, uh, uh, be true to yourself. Uh, be original i think the key word is especially in comedy you know don't try to copy you know comedians from the west and try to bring it here or you know uh, some other you know be very original and at least for comedy i tell people 
come out and watch live stand up comedy don't watch comedy on netflix with some you know bill burr is doing or some dave chappelle is doing in an american concept or in a uk concept uh, you know come see what indian comedians are doing that is from a more from a comedy perspective point of view and also for for creators that they know you know the entry level barriers are very less to be very honest all of most of you all of us have started with just a phone and recording things at home and you know you know people where are you know we have a lot of examples of just you know people shooting from a phone it started all with a phone camera and blue and just it was our own imagination our writing which right. you know where we are today so i think it's entry level barriers are less but be original uh, be consistent be very uh, true to yourself and as i said don't do what excites you not what you will get your followers and followers will automatically come yeah that's right sure i think i'm yeah thank you guys i think this was very insightful uh, it was very insightful for me i'm sure it was very insightful for everyone who was watching it also uh, i have you guys are each one of you are fairly active in doing instagram lives I and mean, this is for me it was the first time doing a webinar not sitting at a conference face to face and doing it well i hope but I it was fun we had fun, fun. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Can't wait to see you in person. Before I know, I know. Uh, just, just few weeks more. All Instagram Thank followers you. of Dhani, please come to us also. Go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's easier. You just have to imagine me without share. the beard. You just have to imagine me without the beard, like you know. Come. I oh, cannot no, unsee that anymore. Guys, <laughs> yeah, I would not shave, but just imagine me without the beard and follow me. Nikhil, I cannot should, unsee you, that. You should WhatsApp me then. I'll tell you the picture. I'll find it somewhere. I'm sad, bro. I saw that and I was like, what? I'll get the E four M team to put it on the article. Uh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll start repurposing again. Done. Super. Nikhil, so, thank, so thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Larissa. Thank you, Nikhil. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Nikhil. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.